And welcome back, everybody. I'm TV meteorologist Jason Boyer coming to you live from beautiful Spruce Pine. It's our hometown hotspot. And what happens when you combine barbecue and bluegrass? A lot of fun. That's what's happening right here at the Barbecue and Bluegrass Festival in Spruce Pine. Join me right now, Reed Duncan with the Rotary Club here at Spruce Pine. Reed, you help kind of, well, at least help get things together. A lot of Absolutely. organizers go into this. And uh, what's what can we expect this year? Obviously, the weather's not deterring many people. Well, we have a fabulous slate of barbecue cookers lined up. The music is going to be great. Tonight, we're going to have Darren and Brooke Aldridge and the Snyder family. Of course, tomorrow night, Leading off is is the box cars and people follow the box cars wherever they go. Yeah. But it's the food and it's just the fellowship. We got crafts. It's on. <laughs> the weather is not our best friend today. Yeah. You, you can't do a thing, anything about that. Yeah. Unfortunately, the weather isn't cooperating right now. Hopefully tomorrow it'll cooperate a little more. But it is today and tomorrow. Tell us about pricing getting in. And T tonight it's four dollars, seven dollars tomorrow. But you can get a ten dollar pass armband. Good for both days. Yeah. And, and children under 12 is free. There you go. And it's a big competition. So these guys take their cooking seriously. Uh, $5,000 competition. There the you winner. Go. Loving it. Yeah. Thank you so much, Reed. Uh, great time here right on the main street here in Spruce Pine. So come down and check us out near the river, and it will be a good time for you. Plenty to do, plenty to see a family-friendly event. So keep that in mind. Hey, welcome back, everybody. I'm Chief Meteorologist Jason Boyer coming to you live from this week's hometown hotspot. We are in Spruce Pine, the mineral city here in Mitchell County. Come on, come on up and see us. It is the third annual Spruce Pine Barbecue and Bluegrass Festival. I'm actually going to put down my fork for just a little bit, not very long, so we can talk with Claudia Bailey Honeycutt with Buck Stove. Uh, Claudia, you're one of the big reasons why it's on again this year, huh? We are. We like this festival. It's our hometown, so we want to support that. Yeah. And it's so much fun. The weather's not stopping people. We have a good crowd, don't we? Small town, big spirit. Yeah, yeah. So when you come out here every year that you've been here, you get to see how everybody gets to see each other, everybody knows each other, so it's real friendly. But is it is it the bluegrass or barbecue that you prefer? I'm a barbecue girl. Yeah. <laughs> and what type? Um, I like good pulled pork. Yeah, yeah, mine too, mine too. You got briskets, you got the, the chicken, of course, you got the ribs. Ribs are a little messy. Sometimes I, I don't like to get too messy with them. I saw a little man eating a turkey bone over there a few minutes ago. It was bigger than he was. <laughs> we're staying here warm by the fire. It's almost like we're having dinner here. We're one of the uh, special guests, if you will, uh, here at the uh, Blue, Bluegrass and uh, Barbecue Festival. So when you come down, folks can obviously come down this weekend, but it's not through Sunday. It's only through tomorrow, correct? Right. Tomorrow night, 10 o'clock, I believe it's over. All right. Well, thank you very much for that. Claudia with Buckstone.